Hi everybody, Paul Richards here with PTZ Optics, tuning in to our 2016 live stream of the Infocom uh, Day 3, and I have with me uh, Neil Weber and Clay Stalka. How are you guys doing? Great. Very good. Having a good show. So I want to ask you guys a little bit about what you've seen, what you think has been exciting at this, uh, this technology show. Uh, nothing more exciting than what we see here, with all the great things that are happening with PTZ Optics, that's my first answer. Clay? Well, I love the uh, streaming uh, system that you have that you're showing here uh, at this show, and it's uh, revolutionary, really. Thank you. So let's start by talking about the video conferencing market, and I'm going to ask you guys a little bit about this new emerging broadcast YouTube live streaming market. So with the, the unified communication space, we're seeing a lot of like cloud-based video conferencing stuff. Uh, what are you seeing in that market? Um, I don't have a great answer for that one. Are we... Well, I think that the, the people are looking for easier. And right now, it's been, up till today, very difficult to really do it well. And you're bringing some products to market that makes anybody's job very easy, really, frankly. Yeah, that was one of the things we realized when uh, you know USB technology started to really become more and more popular. Everyone was asking for it. And then it doesn't matter if you have no experience whatsoever, plugging in a USB cable just seems to make sense. It's a connector everybody recognizes. And then from the streaming standpoint, if it can be as simple as simply plugging in a webcam, that's the level that it needs to be at because everybody has now a story to tell that they want to share. And streaming allows people to do that. And the easier, as Clay said, the faster we get it done. Yeah, there's, there's a story about a, a gentleman in New York who started live, he makes shoes. And you know, you would never have an audience in New York City about making shoes, but when he started live streaming it, I guess he's a cobbler. And once he started live streaming it, uh, everybody, you know, from around the world, he had a huge audience. But in his little community that he had, no one really paid any attention to the little cobbler. <laughs> it's amazing. But it gives, you, it gives you an idea, the audience that's out there and that's hungry for content. Because, uh, like you said, you can access it anywhere at any time. So that just quadruples the amount of opportunities that you have to share a story. So, and the, so segueing into this live streaming broadcast market, one of the things we noticed was these USB-based video conferencing systems you don't need to buy anything else other than maybe a Wirecast license, VMix license, and now the whole system that you've already purchased, you can be used for live streaming. Have you seen that happen, any of that crossover? Oh, absolutely, every day. But one of the problems has been that people don't know what to buy. So now you've made it simple for them, and you can instruct them into a front end for their computer to help them acquire that. Now, the other thing is, is people are used to doing a lot of this in the development stage on their phones. And that's great, but you're giving them the opportunity to step that broadcast up to a professional level with a professional quality camera. And that's really the big difference. And then if you add something into it like Perfect Track or something along those lines that, that you've announced, uh, it gives people the opportunity to have a completely unmanned system and be able to provide a broadcast quality event without any trouble whatsoever. It's amazing. Yeah, we're, we're really excited and people's eyes are kind of popping out when they see we're live streaming to YouTube right now. There's multiple selectable cameras for the viewers to watch. Um, last thing I'll just kind of end on is one of the things we've noticed and we've kind of always kind of categorized our customers as like tier four, which maybe let's say that's the real broadcast the television people. Tier three, you know, people who are in corporations and have a really big budget for it. Tier two, kind of the people who, you know, might have a couple thousand dollars to buy a PTZ camera and a joystick. Tier one is, you know, just a webcam, kind of starting out, but looking professional, doing some things. But now there's this like tier point five, and it's literally people just sitting in front of their laptop and live streaming and getting thousands of views because they have something important to say and people want to hear them. And I feel like that tier point five is because it's free. It's just everywhere across the market. And some of them are going to be successful. They're going to find funding, and it, the market's just going to explode. Is my personal opinion. Yeah, I, I think that tier point five is the easiest one to graduate to, to, to level two, one or two, because once, as Clay said, they discover that, you know, sometimes people aren't going to put up with poor quality, and they're going to move on. Yeah. And so they have to up step the game up on, on, on video and audio, and that's where the uh, viewers and uh, listeners are going to start to tune in a lot more. I totally agree, and I think the quality is so important, uh, especially once they start really cr turning their whole thing into a, a 
revenue stream. And then it, the quality is so much more important. So what should we end on, guys? You want to tell us where, where people can find you? They are a um, distributor of PTZ Optics and HuddleCam, um, one of the best distri value-add distributors in the unified communication space. Where, what do you want to end on? What do you want to tell people where we can find you? Well, I'll tell you this, Paul. The easiest thing is call us at Starin, and we would be more than happy to help you assemble a solution so that it's not a couple of products that you put together, but an, a complete solution that can get you up and running in a matter of minutes. And that would be Starin.biz? Starin.biz. That's where you find us. All right. Well, that's Starin, everybody. Thanks for tuning in, and uh, we'll continue with this fun live stream.